Now, the best way to get some local knowledge is to grab a local. And my old mate Smithy has been a tour guide in outback Queensland for years. Michael, we've seen some amazing contrast just in one morning, you know. Um, here we were at uh, Windora, right on the edge of the, the Cooper, the floodplain of the massive Cooper. 22 kilometres wide in channels on the road, and then it swells to 100 kilometres wide in the flood. And then we made our way out past all that beautiful sand dune country. You know, the dunes were quite colourful. They're probably the reddest dunes in Australia there. And then as we come through, the dunes sort of morphed into some mulga, and the mulga morphed into some cap rock, you know, that top rock, the Mesa type country. And now we've come out here to this Dion's lookout, and it breaks away a couple of hundred feet down before our eyes, and that's contrast. And then these views that we see out all through this country of the Diamond Tenor Shire are just spectacular. The little town of Birdsville was the focal point of our Angel Flight Rally. Each year the world famous Birdsville Cup is held and people fly and drive into this little town for a week long party. Macca caught up with Kate McDonald from the Birdsville Hotel. Katie, you've been here that long now. You must be almost a local. I would hope so. Yeah, yeah, no, I've been here nearly eight years. Eight years? Where was home for you? Southern New South Wales, West Wylam. This will be home now? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, take every year as it comes. Came for six months and been here seven and a half years. So it must grab you pretty quick and hold you, does it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I suppose it's the small communities, the um, different tourists that you see all the time. Every day is different. There's never one year or one day that's exactly the same as the next. It's yeah, variety that's great, keeps you here. One of the things I noticed was that the airport is just stepped up, you know, new buildings, fences, a bitumen runway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the Diamond Tennis Show has put a fantastic effort into um, having what we've got and it's fantastic. So now we've got two flights a week, which we have had in the past, out of Brisbane, um, and then it returns twice a week back to Brisbane. Are tourists grabbing a hold of that and flying out for a look? Yeah, they are. Yeah, the people that don't want to drive out here don't want to bring their caravans um, that aren't into four-wheel driving. Yeah, they use it as an opportunity to get out here. The other one that caught my eye is you've got a, a meter on the wall that's recording how much solar power you're using at the moment, getting a bit high-tech, a bit green. What's the story behind that one? Yeah, um, we had solar panels um, installed, gee, time goes now, three and a half, four years ago. So they run the motel side of the um, pub here and it's just here to show people uh, the energy that we're using um, with the solar panels. I see this pub as sort of having two faces. I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but to me this is the this is the watering hole, the, the hub of, of a community mm. for the locals to come and catch up and, and have a meal, have a beer. But it's also on the bucket list of a lot of Australians to come here and, and have a beer at the Birdsville pub. Mm. Do the two groups get along well? Yeah, they do. Summertime, um, the locals generally enjoy it because they get their bar back, they can sit at the bar, um, relax. However, they love having the tourists here throughout the year because it's what brings funds to the town and it keeps us going. Of course, the Angel Flight Rally used the pub as a watering hole to wet their whistles and party hard. You know, when you go into the outback, there's one thing that really strikes me, and that is you never see stars quite as beautiful and as magnificent and so close that you could just reach up and pick them out of the sky. They're just incredible. It's worth just going out into the outback just to experience how beautiful the skies are at night time. If you'd like to know more about Angel Flight Australia or perhaps make a donation, log on to their website, angelflight.org.au. After the break, I'll show you some drag racing with a difference.